Hey guys, Jamie here from Pine Tree Line Productions, and we here today have a 16 foot Scott Prospector fiberglass canoe. It's got a couple damages to the gel coat, two small cracks, there's, there's stress cracks, but the main impact was made right here on the curvature of the bottom of the canoe. So we think the impact was done here, the two cracks to the gel coat on the side and at the bottom here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the area, we're gonna sand it up, we're gonna epoxy it, and then we're gonna paint it up. So I got an 80 grit to start with here. I don't want to take too much down, so I'm not going to use this a lot. I'm just going to try and take out a little bit of the cracks. And you don't want to sand down too much off the start. So I took the majority of the gel coat crack out with the 80 grit and I'm gonna go right to the fine one right away because I have enough taken down. I don't wanna to take too much off the canoe, that's why I'm not going to a medium grit. I'm going right to the fine one right away. sanded the whole area down because whenever you're doing repairs you want to go a little bit bigger than the area that you actually need to repair and we're gonna paint this all up too when we're done okay guys so we got the marine epoxy made by Lepage this is one part uh, resin and one part hardener mix them together and that's what you get your epoxy so we're gonna so we're gonna mix them up together this stuff is actually so strong, you can actually uh, repair a boat underwater, they say. I wouldn't try it, but they say you can do it. Now this dries white and it cures in about two hours at room temperature. We're gonna let it sit though, probably a lot longer than that. These two stress cracks aren't really deep. So I'm just kind of doing a real thin coat. You don't have to go too deep on these two. And I always do more than the actual area that's damaged, guys, because you don't want to be too short on the damage part. We're going to be sanding this so it doesn't have to be that perfect. This part's a little deeper, so I'm going to put a little bit more into it. Now you see it filled in the crack there, that's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go a little bit more in that area though. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be giving this a, a once over one more time sanding it. Okay guys, so we've let it cure for 24 hours. We've come back, we've taped it all up. Now this is a gel coat repair guys. These are minor cracks. If they were any worse than this, if you could see through, you could see light, or you're taking on water, you're gonna do a fiberglass repair, which is a little bit more difficult to do than just a gel coat repair, where you can get a fiberglass kit and repair the cracks. But it's kind of like the same idea. If we would have left these cracks, possibly by the end of the season or maybe even next year, they might have got worse. That's why we're repairing them now. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm just using the medium grit right now just to smooth it down, take all the ridges out of it. I'm gonna go over it by hand with a fine after. But it's really important guys, when you're using the palm sander, when you're doing this kind of repair, you're not putting any weight on the palm sander at all. You're just kind of letting it float over because you don't want to put too much weight into one area. So you're gonna cause a gouge in it. So you're just kind of letting it do its thing, letting it float over and not staying in one area too long or putting weight on it. So 
So I'm doing an even coat, guys. I'm moving it. You don't want to stay in one area too long. We're done painting the canoe. Um, just to let you guys know that we used a cheaper alternative out there. We could have went with a marine paint, but we actually went with the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Gloss. It's fast drying. Um, it actually, it turned out it was the color that matched the canoe perfectly. It was uh, $6 for this can. So it's a lot cheaper than using marine paint. Marine paint can get very expensive. So the epoxy was $10 and I think the sanding blocks, everything combined, I think it was like 12 bucks. So again, guys, about well, $30 Canadian to do this repair. So it was very cost efficient. Just to let you know that you can do this repair on any gel coat boat. It doesn't have to be just the canoe. So any fiberglass that's got a gel coat that's got damage to it, you guys can do this as well. So I'm getting ready to take off the paper. Um, this is a small repair, so that's why we sprayed it on. But if I was doing a bigger repair to the canoe or the whole canoe itself, I would have rolled it on.